How's it going today everybody and welcome back to Shaner's Mechanic Life. So a while ago I picked up this Milwaukee M18 Fuel Gen 4 hammer drill and driver. Part number on this 2904-20. So far I've been more than happy with it using it as a drill. But with it being a hammer drill I haven't yet tested that function. I had this masonry bit kicking around my toolbox for years. So I thought let's put it in and give it a shot. But instead of just trying it alone, let's put it up against something else. So I gave my electrician friend a call and I borrowed this. The Hilti TE4-A22 rotary hammer. Now this thing is designed to be drilling through concrete. But for you at home people, if you need just to drill a couple holes in concrete, what's the sense of buying something like this? So, we're going to put these two side by side and test them in this old piece of curve that the snowplow busted off. But before I do that, I'm just going to touch on just a couple quick specs. The Milwaukee 2904-20 has two speeds with a variable trigger, 0 to 500 RPM and 0 to 2100 RPM. The Hilti TE4-A22 only has one speed, not variable, and that's 1,050 RPM. Now, blows per minute. The Milwaukee comes in at 33,000 blows per minute, whereas the Hilti, 5,200 blows per minute. Now, I know with these two different tools, I'm not exactly comparing apples to apples here, but let's give it a shot and See how it works with that hunk of curb. Here we go. So what I've done on the Milwaukee, I put this old masonry bit that I've had in my toolbox and I measured it. And then I put a piece of tape on the Hilti bit. So it'll be going in the same depth. And we're gonna time to see how fast the Milwaukee is compared to the Hilti. So I've switched my Milwaukee from drill to the hammer drill mode and I'm going to put the handle on to give it a little bit more support. Now I tried to keep it as close as I could with the batteries. The Hilti's got a 22 volt 5.2 amp hour battery and the Milwaukee's got the 18 volt 5 amp hour battery. Now some of you may already be asking why don't I test it with the same bit. But this Hilti has got a special bit. It's got the spline drive and the last thing you want to do is slip it in the chuck and screw up the splines on this borrowed drill. As well, the Milwaukee drill is going to be spinning at a higher RPM. And the last thing I want to do also is burn up the tip of this borrowed drill. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start off with the Hilti. And as soon as I start drilling, I'm going to press start on the timer. And then we're going to compare the two results. And start. was quick right down to the tape about 17 seconds well let's let's see if the Milwaukee can compare to that starting it <laughs> 12 seconds well I don't know about you guys but I was pleasantly surprised but to tell you the truth kind of question how long that bit would last driving it at that kind of RPM. But if you're a professional guy and you're drilling lots of holes through concrete, something like this is probably the way you want to go. It's especially a tool, you know this bit's going to last you a long time. But like I said earlier, if you just got a couple of holes to drill at home, pick yourself up a bit. But I would definitely check the package. Look at the rated RPM and make sure you don't go faster than that. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Just want to end the video by thanking someone who left a comment in a previous video, Brandy Balthazar. Thanks for the comment, really appreciate it, and I tried to get back to all my comments. Well, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you want to see more like them, hit that subscribe button and notification bell in the bottom right hand corner. That way you get notified when I get new videos coming out. Well, that's it for tonight, everybody. 
Have a good night, and thanks for watching.